This conference will now be recorded. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Sir, uh, yesterday when net, net sales. Yeah, that is done. Sir, it's not done, but is there something related to blank values? Like in order last 90 days frequency, it's showing blank values when we don't select any of the frequency mm. so if we remove those blank values and we'll show net sales no i don't think so no sir okay. uh, yesterday question was uh, how to remove all this uh, i mean extra values uh, that is the question right sir i mean like uh, when it is high high frequency means we have to get the high frequency value correct but the net sales is repeating right is it something like yes this? so uh, I, I did something whether it's right or not i don't know in the filters i i went to order last day a frequency thing mm -hmm. In that, um, uh, I I put it like it is greater than not here, sir. In filters, I mean, like here. Uh, yeah, this. Let, let me tell. Let me tell you. So. Okay. This was you want to calculate the order last ninety days by net sales, right? Yes. The only area this formula is correct. Only area needs to change is this much only. This part you need to calculate the net sales. That's it. Then nothing needs to be changed. Okay, I did something else. So to display, okay. If we try to pull it here, if we get let's take high frequency, now we're getting 100% egg protein. Only for the high frequency now, right? The amount? Yes. We are getting repeat. Let me put it down. Why it's are there simple. some... Sir, why are there some, some blank values coming for... Uh, after no, because, hmm. uh, because there is no selection. For the September, there is no, no medium frequency value will be there for this guy. It's fine. Okay. So in Did filter, you remove. I'm sorry, sir. You remove the order last 90 days frequency and then just edit the net sales. Yeah. Correct. That's it. This part only I change. I need the net sales by order last 90 days, right? Mm -hmm. With low and high. Okay. Just trying to calculate the net sales. That's it. Simple. Okay. Can we, I mean, without changing any measure, can we do like what I did? Can I tell, sir? Can you just paste your things? I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah sure, sir. <clears throat> can you give me the rights, sir? No, you just paste it, the chat, I'm saying. In the chat? How, how, I mean... No, I, I mean, I didn't write anything. I just changed something in the filter. I mean, like uh, the filter bar over there, uh, we can put all the filters, visualization, that one. No, I'm not getting, okay, let me put, you can tell me the, okay, let me remove the original one. Okay, I'm putting my net sales, the original net sales. Okay, now what I did, 
here we have some filters right sir and near the visualization uh, can uh, yes over there go to mm. order last days by frequency mm -hmm. there uh, i selected greater than mm -hmm. uh, greater than uh, in, in in down i gave uh, zero value written zero yes what does it mean i tried sir apply filter means i will get, I'll get the, some values like i don't know if it is right or wrong uh, like this this is something like there's no meaning for that so this is something like see try and understand the problem here the problem is when you are not selecting anything from the frequency you are getting three three things yes and for the medium and low, you are not getting the order last 90 days. That is fine. But when you are selecting a single thing, it is fine. You will hmm. get the that that product only. But yes. But the problem is, if you do, if you give this report to the customer, will you ask them to always select something from the frequency? They yeah. that 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 is their choice, right? They yes. don't want to select. They want to see all the frequency if they are selecting all the frequency or they are not selecting anything from this filter then it will show you three products for each frequency because of the net sales that we want to fix it not through this filter filter whatever you did that is no meaning and if you click on this also this is your problem will be solved okay but that is not the requirement requirement was something different when you are oh. not selecting anything, I mean, okay. and that is that is choice only. Make sense? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, this was the this was the fix only. Okay, nothing else. And you can do anything. This this this. Logic which I put it under this part, right? This will remain same for everything. You can calculate gross sales, you can calculate anything. Just change the measure. Simple. Okay. Because this filter part is giving us a table which is filtered Correct. based on this and right. Part. And based on and based on that you can calculate any measure. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so okay, so do you want little bit complex scenarios? Hmm. Do you need that? That's fine. I'm saying because you need some practice on this. Do you want some business cases which is more complex? You have to discuss, or is it fine? We can discuss. Sir. Okay. Not so confident, but I will listen. <laughs> we'll try, sir, but not confident, yeah. right? Yes, we can discuss, but we get some idea about it, right? Okay, let's do that. Then fine. So let's discuss another scenario. I'm just renaming the page, which is called your use relationship. That's what exactly I will explain. <laughs> okay. So here. If you go to your model here, okay, and from the date table and the sales table, okay, this two table try to understand first. And one more thing, suppose in your model this is five six tables only, so in a real time there could be n number of tables, right? Yes. 10 15 tables, right? And each suppose you want to see for particular tables how the relationship is there or how it works all these things 
so in this page there is another page also you can create the mm -hmm. first page will be all tables that will be fixed here you can define here it will show you all the tables but suppose you want to visualize only particular two tables somehow let's take what we need to do create a page here okay and drag the required table which is you want to analyze so in this case let's say i analyze that that their table and the sales table so in this way what will happen your space will be easy so you can concentrate more on this two table rather than selecting all table okay that's it there is nothing changes the there is no because whenever define the relationship you can define here only but this is just to visualize nothing else okay that's fine okay. now here in this case in the date table and the sales table we have some active and inactive relationship you remember that part yes, what sir. is active and what is inactive yes sir. yes sir okay from here which is the active relationship in this case the, the first one is inactive the other two are inact inactive okay mm. so the what is the first one this is based on my order date yeah. right yes when there is this is order date but what are the inactive relationship the due date, due date and, my, and, ship and date. minus ship date. <clears throat> okay here yes. what exactly we are planning to do here in this case is that let's calculate based on some inactive relationship so right now whatever the measures you are defining everything is going through your order date only because that is the active relationship okay like number of orders and all but now suppose i want to calculate how many orders are due on my product on my model okay this relationship is there but right now it is not working through that so I want to activate somehow in the major section. So let's that's that's the complexity we will to do it here. Okay, let's do that. So basically, let me delete this. It's not required. Uh, so let's take first of all simple only. Let's take a table. And suppose let's take from the date table, I'll take a monthly. Okay. And I'm taking my net sales. So now the what about the amount you are getting that is derived through the order date only because the date and sales are connecting to the order date only. So this amount, whatever you are getting for the January month is the total sales. How much you sell it's not how much order there's a total sales for this one now suppose you want to calculate how much total receivable how much i will receive from the amount or from the receipt from the company then this is not the right one right this is this is total sales how much i will receive how i will get it i will get it through my due date only suppose i have a order of five Hmm. For hmm. the five orders, whatever the amount is there, let's say each order is 200 rupees. So, five into 200 is 1000 rupees, my total sales. Okay. That's the total sale. But how much I will receive from that on this particular month is based on the due date. Suppose out of the five orders in this month, I have a three orders due. So, that is the due amount if the order is placed. Right. So that is I want to calculate here. Making sense this is I will to getting the point, the due date and the order date. So you we are now you are asking about how many orders we got, but like how many not we are order. not completed. Oh. Correct, correct. That is that is correct. And based on that, we need to calculate the total sales. Okay. okay. So it is my this is sales, and I want another formula which I want to calculate total receivable, how much I will receive on this January month based on the, yes, the pending order or the due orders. Correct, that's correct. So for that, what I need to do, let's create a measure here. So let's take total receivables. So 
so i want to calculate my net sales the net sales i want to calculate but if you give the net sales normally as the from the date table and the from the sales table the active relationship is based on the order date so always the net sales always or the any major in this case where it is going to the date and sales always consider the order date only but for this case i don't want to consider the order date i want to consider the due date okay making sense this part hello can you repeat one second sir what what do i need to repeat no calculate the net sales you are saying no no basically if i consider the net sales how what is the net sales formula for me please can somebody tell me Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to mm -hmm. see the model and to tell gross sales That's minus good. discount amount. Oh. Okay, and then what is gross sales? Uh, unit into unit price into quantity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whenever that formula is calculated, suppose we want to compare the net sales, gross sales, gross amount, everything to the date, like month, year, and everything. Right? So, how the relationship is going on from the date to the sales table? Through which column? Date to date column from the date table and order date from the sales table. Correct? Based on that. Based on that, it is calculating. Correct? Mm -hmm. So, here yes, what we are getting? You are getting total net sales, total gross sales. How much? you performed how much sales you performed on the on your model or on your company right now the ask is how many orders are due and for that how much amount i should receive can this be defined through the order date that is my question okay order date minus due date mm. no yes yeah, all right so that time your the sales the net sales which you are calculating that should be go through your another date column which is there on the model that is called the due date or suppose i can ask you how many orders got shipped then that is different to the ship date okay hmm. not to the order date but the active relationship always to the order date because that is the most valuable point because the sales point is ordered and once in a while only we need to calculate some different stories like how many orders we received or how many orders got shipped everything that time that relationship should be there on the model that is already there which is in inactive relationship just like an inactive it is not there it is not in use but now for this measure i want to activate it or i want to use it okay so in this case what happened is so when we are doing a, this kind of thing i want to calculate my net sales i will use another uh, dax function which is called your use relationship okay so just write the syntax it is saying that it is specifying an existing relationship to be used in the evaluation already we have an existing relationship on the date there is three relationships is going to the sales one is order date one is due date one is shifted active inactive is fine but it is there then relationship is defined by naming of the argument two columns so here whichever is a, your inactive relationship is there between two tables we can activate now between the use relationship works okay so here what i will do i will take my sales due date here in this case and my date date table so what will happen in this case is that for this measure your relationship will go through this rather than going through the order date and date you should go to the due date and the date making sense this is
Hmm. What I'm not audible. You are audible, sir. Just seeing the form. Yeah, so it is clear. That means uh, we are explicit, explicitly mentioning the relationship between, uh, like, uh, with the, these two columns. Correct. Like for this, for this major only. Inside this, not for overall. Okay. Only for this guy. When this is there, the relationship go there, and this is already there. Already there in the sense. Let me first commit this. There in the sense. This part of what I'm talking about. Let's put the date table and put the sales table. Mm. So this relationship is there. Inactive active is doesn't matter, but it is there. Okay. Just I'm activating on this on this measure only. If it is not there, like this, suppose it is just deleted. Let's try to do that again. Okay? Then your use whatever I written there that will not work. It will throw an error. It mm -hmm. will show you that use relationship functions can only use to two column references participating in the relationship. Okay. If it is active, non-active, it is fine. But if it is not there, we can't use this function. Next, that is makes sense to you. Yes, sir. This is clear. Okay. But so let me do that so now this is there then my this list this formula will work okay and for this measure only whenever i am calculating the net sales the relationships from the date table will go through this rather than going through this this is active always but when I am calculating this part, it is going to this way for this measure. Making, making sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's try to put this figure. Now we have, we, you know that in this sales model, we have each day one sales is there. Right? For the each month, each day, there is one sales. Have you seen that? 2013, each. one year only. For the each month, only one one day we have. First, second, third, like that we have, right? So, man, you guys are not checking the model also. So, you are getting last day of the each month, you are getting the order date actually. Yes. If you see, okay. And the due date is somewhere around 10 and 11. So, when you receive the amount, in this case, it's exactly the January, whatever you sell on January, that the same amount you will get in the February. Because we have only one day for each month. One day sales actually for the 38th or the last day of the month. That's why you are getting all the data, whatever you sales of the January that you are getting on the February receivable. But if there could be different instances, then your receivable amount will change but the ultimate goal is here in this case is that this is the case so how much you sales on january that you will get in in the february that is the point here okay so let me change this point okay so basically this is the idea about that so with sales we did some sales on January, this money amount. How much we'll receive on the February? Because how much we did on the sales on January, that much you will get. Feb, March, you'll get the Feb, Feb one, like that. This is the amount. Okay. Next, making sense here? But sir, net sales is, we already calculated with the um, date, oh. with the date, active relationship. And total mm. receivables we are using with the due date. Correct. So amount, how the amount is same? Like Which there amount? might be difference. Like some has some order we have received and some yet to receive. That's that's what I'm saying. So, this was the point here, right? The point is, 
here also the du also is somewhere around see in this model the order is placed on the last day of the month only the data which you are getting here in this model the or the sample data which is there it is always on the last day of the month only. Mm -hmm. and that day we will get it in the next month only on the 10th and april so that's why whatever you are selling on the january the same amount you are getting on february because of this model feature mm -hmm. just try and understand put it in a real time scenario you are also buying something so you suppose you are order mm -hmm. only at last day of the month always okay mm -hmm. you will build something how much you will receive on the next month this is the same amount only right this is not like for the whole january i have data this is only the last day of the month i have what i have ordered that much amount i am getting so if i calculate from that the receivables so that much that much amount i will get it right making sense so we yeah, go into so supermarket mm -hmm. put it put it you on a on that plate you went mm -hmm. to supermarket and that you are going on the last day of the month let's take we are not going for whole day you are going on the last day of each month let's take you want to january 30 or 31st and you purchase something okay that is the total sales okay you done it the sales how much they will receive on the february for from you the same amount because you don't not purchase anything on the january that's the same thing is happening in this model suppose in this model you have a data for whole january okay then there is a change because what much you allocate it in the january that will change but the goal here is to understand that how the use relationship works because in this case we are going through the net sales we are changing the relationship status from the due date from the rather than the regular order date from the due date to due date that's the objective getting the point okay sir yeah. hmm. okay let's turn on this okay now what i knew is that this is fine this is absolutely correct now i will ask you one question here instead of month name okay i will put because month name is not i want to put the sales order number i have a sales order number in my sales table let's try to put it here okay now if you see the sales order number and my the total receivable here is the same why it is same because it's exactly same but we have changed the relationship of this guys right we change the total receivables through my due date not through the order date so the net sales is calculating through the order date but the total receivable is through the due dates so what does it mean the same value means what so it's exactly same kind of last correct but why it is same my question is same. that question why it is same for the, this order how much i am doing the sales the same amount i am getting the receivable also why my question is that so try and understand okay we did the order for that this much amount we, we sale and the same amount we are getting in the receivables why in this case just think like okay put it into a model you are there why it is coming like this try and understand and can you just explain me? because we are uh, just yes sir. we are making mm -hmm. sale on like the first order first order 30th march ah, so, okay one second let let me stop you how you know that this order uh, done on 31st march oh because this these order, are yes. with sale table with um, right but how you know that that is 31st march yeah we don't know right we don't know we don't know exactly we don't know mm -hmm. so this order also on which day we got 224 
and how much we received on which date we don't know exactly we don't know here okay that is the point i was talking about so whenever you are talking about a date due date or order date or something right that should be a, like a reference point right from where is it for september is it for october it is for november it is for december which is for january for what you want to see the order but right now we are not seeing any right so let's try and understand what exactly this is all about so let's put a slicer in this, in this case okay and try to put a month name filter here or month year yeah, month year I so let's put a month year here in this case now tell me the amount which is getting calculated this one which is for which month now we have it clear like we have oh, from month okay. and year now it's for december. this is for which year december. everybody for is for december can so everybody please clarify what is the amount which are for this order whatever you are getting it it is for which month Sorry, November because if if nothing is selected, it is considered mm. all all uh, last oh. month. So, if you are not considering anything, not no filter, it is mm. considering last day, last day yeah. of the month. It is for December. It is for December mm. or oh, yeah. whatever there, whatever there in the model. In this case, this is December 2013. If there is beyond that data is there, like 2014, 15, 16, 17, whatever maybe, that is the last day the order, the calculation is happening. So, in this case, the matching why it is matching because we are calculating the net sales for december 2013 and mm -hmm. total receivable also we are calculating for december 2013 because there is no reference point from the time that's why both are same as simple as that okay now try to select something from this guy let's check select in september now the point here in this case is that we have some amount okay but this amount we received on September. Sales, we don't know what month it is for sales. Okay. That is making sense, right? And instead of the net sales, we'll, we'll fix this problem on the net sales part. Now, let's try to put some value here. Okay. This is clear. This is clear. What, what we are getting here. This part is we are receiving for this order. This order was not placed on September. For okay. this order, we received the amount on September. We received the order, but we didn't place yet in the September. Place. We, okay. uh, yes, we placed in some other months. I don't know which month. Let me select August and uh, let's take somewhere around July. So, whatever the amount we are getting now for this guy, what is the point here? This order. Has placed but not yet uh, done. Not yet, no. That was already placed in some other months, mm. but we are getting the data in September based on the due date. Suppose it is like we order a product, it is not like tomorrow only we'll get the order, right? Mm. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. Okay. So it is like you done some order and on the next month or maybe you placed an order on the in this case what happened is we are placing the order always on the last day of the month in this model like list okay so that's why we are getting the due on the next month always so it means that this order is placed on on some other month maybe in august or something and we are receiving the amount on the september that's it this point is all about so whenever you are calculating or you are 
working with a date or the time intelligence right you should have a reference point what does it mean means this is the point so if you are not selecting anything the point is it is taking the last day of your current model from there it is calculated okay and if you are selecting something then you have a choice that okay i am doing like this so i am calculating from this for this month of september in the september how many order placed for the what the total sales and how much i received that is my thing okay so for making sense for, mm -hmm. can i ask sir uh, so uh, for 1433 dollars we didn't receive those yet which one uh, here, Which uh, in, the, in next sales, we are seeing correct. September. Yes. Correct. Didn't... Absolutely correct. So, so this not. is this is maybe in October we will get it this amount. Yes, correct. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. Okay. So whatever we got in September, profit. I mean hmm. profit or receivable. All these are here for this product. Correct. This, part. this part. This part. Yeah. Correct. This part. This is the amount. We got on September, and these are the order placed on September. Sir, can, can see. I see now October one, sir? Mm -hmm. Both or only October? September, October, both or only October? Oh, only October once. Only October. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's receivable for October. Yeah, it's received in October. Got it? Okay. 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 So this is the point. Now let me remove the net sales, and I want I want to fix one more topic here. So let's take. Uh, Before that, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. So did go you uh, did you say that the uh, the for the September month and October month can we apply the filter for both the months, slicer? Yes. Yes, you can do that. Oh, Just can you do it. that? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, okay. You can do that. You can do that. Mm -hmm. So it's a mix now. You can select mm -hmm. any month. You can select three, four months also. It's fine. No problem. Oh, okay. Yeah. But why I didn't select? Because to help to understand, I just select a single month so that you can understand. But now, if you select multiple months, you need to see that like which order are placed on. Now it's a mix. This order may be placed on September. This order may be placed on October. This I'm, I'm talking about this order. Okay. We need to fix mm -hmm. that. We need to understand that. So that's why this two months. This order may be on September. This is based on October. Fine. And the receivable amount also the same. It is for two mm -hmm. months. For the September and October. Both. Okay. Okay. In this model, all the dates have shown the last, last day of the month. Last day. Yeah, it can be September 15th or middle of the month. Right? Ha, then that in the case that order will be received on the same month only. Same September month, right. Right. Hmm. Absolutely. Okay. To understand the model was designed like that so that you can understand like mm -hmm. the la let's take a feature last day of the month the order got placed. Okay. Now this is clear mm -hmm. I think. So now leave, leave it about the net sales. Now I will take one instead of this, I will take a date column. Okay. Let me take my date field here in this slicer. And I'm changing the slicer to from the vertical list to between mm -hmm. like this. Okay. In between this. Fine. Now, this is a date date filter. Okay. You know, uh, you want to explain how I did it. This one. It's fine. That's fine, sir. Why not? Okay. Fine. Now, let me put a slicer here for a date level. Okay. So somewhere around July. No, July. Uh -huh. Yeah, somewhere around July only. Uh, let's take seven six summer yeah. 
this one now I'm, I can select from here so it is let me check it yeah so now I just given a point a reference point is that the date will start from after 7-6-2013 and the range is this much 7-6-2-31st December 2013 that is the range I am picking up okay now mm -hmm. if I give the due date now that I have a column called due date right where is it the sales sales due put the due date here okay, okay. so now this is little bit please concentrate on this I want to explain you one scenario. Okay. The scenario is this date table, this filter is coming from my date table. Okay. Making sense this this filter. Hmm. So okay. whenever it is going, it is going to the sales table, it is through the order date only. Okay. Hmm. So let's try to understand why it is coming 11 June 2000. Let's go to the date table uh, sorry sales table and try and understand what the filter we have given after 7 6 2013 for the date if you are mm -hmm. collecting the date from the sales table which date will consider order date only because the filter will move through the order date only okay. correct mm -hmm. so i'm selecting i'm selecting a filter on the date and the active filter will go through the order date only okay. right that you know that so on the order date, what the filter I am getting 7-6-2013. So for the order date, let's select somewhere around 7-6 means 30 June 2013, right? Mm. After 7-6. This, this is the filter which should applicable to the sales table. So now for that, we are getting the order date. This is the amount we are getting, right? The due date, 12 July 2013. Not June, what the what the value we are getting? 11 June. 11 June. 12 July. 11 June, 12 July. Okay. This is this is absolutely correct. Why? Hmm. This is strange. Okay. Uh, okay. Just give me a second. Leave it, remove the total CC bubble actually. Okay. Then I will explain you. Now leave it. So the total CC bubble is making some problem actually. So now, if you just want to see here, for the 7-6-2013 or the 30 June order date, we are getting the due date is at 12 July 2013. Absolutely correct. We are getting the first 12 July, then 12 August, then September, everything is getting. Okay. But, can be, there will be some order which can be, uh, how I can explain you this scenario? I'm just try and understand, okay? So mm -hmm. there will be some order which can be placed before to this month, and that will be due on June also, right? Because the date which you are referring here, this you should consider as a due date. So we are considering that how many orders are due. Or how much amount are the due on the 7-6-2013. So the way we are calculating right now, it is for 30th June 2010 order, not due. So if I want to calculate the due also, so there could be some orders which are placed on the 30th May 2013. That can be due on June, right, also for me this order what of the 11 june order i'm missing when i'm putting my due date here i will explain you one more time but you need mm -hmm. this is this is little bit complex okay try and understand so this filter you need to consider as a date okay wow the relationship is working different story but this is for the customer this is a date okay what the date he is selecting he is selecting the date as after your June 7, 6, 2013. Okay. And he wants to see how many orders are due on this day. Okay. So when you consider this as a due, there could be scenario that 
few orders can be placed before also right on the june june month how many orders are due that's what you are calculating but if you consider the month as order date is 30th of june i am missing some order which are exactly due on the june month as well so when i am selecting the order date as a 31st june 2013 or june month i am getting the due for the july month here in this case but i have some order which are placed on 30 may also previous month and which are due on 11 june so do you not think so this order also needs to be considered when i am doing the due date here okay can so understand is this is it clear funda okay just try to visualize what i'm trying to say here because this is more of a understanding only because here the logic is simple but to understand the things we need to say that okay so, so now you are saying whatever we order in the may their uh, due date on the june so they are taking this uh, they are considering as in the may only not in the june correct absolutely correct so now but the for the june month okay these are the orders are due but apart from that few orders are there on the due on the june also that we are not getting here we are starting at july yeah. yes okay. because the end of the yeah. june also it, it may be correct it may be so that that due orders we are not getting right now because of your active relationship because it is going through the order date only order it is date. not going to the due date if it is going to the due date then only we will get this one okay got it the point yes okay so now let's try to get that value okay let's try to remodify your due date based on the relationship which you did did it like the due date and sales rate. let's do that okay here i will create a new measure here I will give a formula days to due date. I will modify this formula. First of all, first point on this formula is to get the uh, what you call it. First of all, the point is, is that so whatever I am selecting uh, the due date on this filter context for this filter context the data is 12 July 2013 okay and for this order this 12 July 13 so I want this measure what I'm, I'm planning to write where, where I kept it okay this one I didn't give the name or did I give the name no I didn't give okay so days to due date let's take okay what I first point here in this case I have to calculate is that whatever the order whatever the filter context due date is coming same I want to print it same same value I want to print it if for this order the due date is 12 July 2013 I just want to print 12 July 2013 in this measure just think how you will do it <laughs> getting the point for this order the due date is 12 August 2013 the same value I want to print in this measure. If I drag this measure, it should also show 12 August 2013. How we will do it? Getting the point, first point. This point is clear. Question is clear. No. Question is clear. No. Don't understand. Okay, where is the doubt? I'm, I'm asking a very simple question. What is your visualization? It's based on your sales order number and due date. For this order, what is the due date I'm getting? I just want to print in a separate measure with the same due date. That's the question. Okay. 
now it is clear question is clear I want to print due date in separate measure yeah when i will drag this measure which i am right now i am calculating i should get for the each order whatever the due date i just want to print that same thing for this order 12 july 12 july 12 july 12 july across every greater context i just want to print the same due date how you will do it My now the question is clear yeah, now the question is clear to everybody yes yes okay tell me the solution maybe like a harder date plus 10 days like uh, if you are order days plus 10 days but how you can make sure that it will be order days this order filter can be changed right tomorrow Okay, so in the last class, we discussed about few functions, right? Values, selected value, all these things. Can you use that? So let's selected value of my due date. I just putting this. Okay, return it. And just try to put this value here. Are you not getting the same amount here? Format is fine, but whatever I'm selecting, I'm getting the same thing, right? In this particular row. Oh. Correct? Yeah. Simple. Mm -hmm. Whatever I'm selecting, that I'm printing it. Simple. When we already have due date here, I mean, I thought. Why I'm printing? Why I'm printing, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm coming to that. So first point is that. So here, the point is first of all we need to get the values for this month also. That eleven. This part is missing, right? We are not getting the order, which are due for the eleven June. June yes. June month order yes, so not this that day is, that, yeah, that is we are not getting that we will calculate first so to calculate that first of all we need to get the due date right whatever in the filter context that I want to first I want to absorb the due date then I will change the filter context to that so this is the first point how I will get the due date on this measure this is the first formula so okay? in the measure to get it in the yes. okay now I will calculate this this part now calculate I will do, do this part now I will change the relationship here in this case the use relationship the due date to the date so what will happen is now your due date will consider the this relationship. okay now try to enter it now if you see, we are getting the data for the 11th also now. Okay, now one question is, why my normal due date is working now? Yes, why it's missing before, oh, my question. Before, my question, my question also the same. Can you answer that question? <laughs> so because, you now remove it, okay, In this remove it and try to put only the due date which was not working earlier just not from here sorry from the sales table the due date still it will not work mm. it is missing for the 11 June but when you put the measure which you just created what is that this part. It's, yes if you put it this will work because due to the this part this measure 
it is just behaving that it is working that's it it is not actually the real time it is working only due to this only because there is a filter context is going on for this measure due to that the due date also behaving that hey, i am working but actually it is not working okay that is the point only so let's remove this i want this one now what i need i need the data now i got the order which are due for the 11 this part is clear first of all this is clear sir but how can we find out that this filter is not working i mean uh, which without putting any now we have kept the measure so that's why it's working mm. properly how do mm. how do we find out that it's not working i mean that seeing the table only yes correct correct what i did the same thing yes correct without that we will learn about it because the validation needs to be done on the data level only right mm. without that how we will come to know that's correct, yes. that's correct. Okay. okay, now what I need is that I need the difference of this. So I need, I have selected 7, 6, right? The first day. Mm -hmm. And my due date is at 11 for this order. How many order, how many days difference is Between them. 4, right? Mm -hmm. 4. And we go to the, this guy. This is around... My almost. data is placed as almost a month, almost a month. Okay, so that difference I want to calculate on the same calculation, the days to due date only. So you know that how to get the due days, due days. on the same measure only. I will calculate the date difference yes. of the days difference of from the my selection, whatever I'm selecting from there, and whatever the order date I have from there. I just want to calculate my the number of days difference okay so what i'll do i'll put it in this as a variable okay so i'll say date selected because in a single formula only i want to do it everything so this is we are getting all the order date okay now the second point is whatever i'm selecting from here from mm -hmm. the slicer that i want to capture if I'm selecting 7, 6, 2013, that I want to capture it. Then only I can do the difference between this and that, right? But this is this is the due date. We are getting all the dates. Now I want to capture the slicer value, what I'm selecting here. Getting the point? What I'm yes. trying to say? So that I want to capture it in this case. And just think, when you are capturing the due date, you use the selected value. And you know that for the each order, there was a single, single due date was there. You remember? For the each order date, 12 July, another order, 12 July, another way, 12 September. You know that one due date was there. So that's why you use the selected value. Because there is a single, single value. You remember? Selected value only works for the single things. One. But in this case, what happens? The slicer is a range. 762. 31st December. It is not a single date. It's a range of dates. Okay. From the range of date, I want to take the first day of that range. Making sense? There is a range of dates from the 7 6 2013 to 31st December 2013. From that, I want to take the first date. There could be another scenario that my slicer will change. Let's say it changed to September to December. So on that one, I want to calculate the first day of the that range, whatever I'm selecting. How will I get it? Can somebody Wait. tell me? So now you are asking uh, hmm. days between the order date and the due date. No, I'm not hmm. saying that. Let me put the change to it. So we'll just date due. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. How we will get the difference? This is 11.6 and you want to calculate the, the due date, uh, the order difference. So 7.6 to 11, it is 4 days, right? But how we will get the 7.6 on this measure? So that I, this is no doubt is a 11.6 for one order. But where is the 7.6? From where you will get the difference? How we will get that 
seven six into the measure. That is my question. Though then only I will get the difference, right? Making sense? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, so, Mr. Okay. now you are asking how to print the seven six twenty thirteen here. Yes, correct. But now the uh, in this case the range is uh, seven six two thousand thirteen to thirty first December two thousand sixteen. If you see this, it is considering seven six to thirty first December. From this range of dates. I want to take the first value. First value is what? 7, 6, 2, 7, 13 only, right? Mm -hmm. That I want to get it. How will get it? There could be chances that my slicer will get changed, right? So it could be 8, 9, whatever maybe. So there will always, it will be a range between this to this. And from there, I want to calculate the first date. And that first date, from the my days due date, I want to calculate the number of days due dates. That making sense now? Yes, sir. So we are okay. using this selected value. Hmm. In this, uh, in this, we are selecting this whatever we are um, taking in slicer. Selected value. Yeah, go ahead. What's the question oh. you're asking? Sorry, I was on mute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Question. Yeah, mm -hmm. so in selected value, uh, uh, we are giving the what whatever we are selecting in the slicer. Are you selecting anything from the slicer that time? Like this the is not due. Thing? This is not a dude. No. Range no, thing sir. is a date. The range is a filter. Oh, one second, something happened. So the range is coming from my date table. Hmm. It's not coming from the date due date. Yeah. It's coming from the date. So again, I'm I'm trying to explain. This is quite. I know Sir, I understood, not. but what I'm saying, I'm not able to explain. Maybe uh, the dates between. Now here, what exactly we are doing here? Let me try to do it. Let me try to do it. understand. Put it down. So in this case, we are not. We are asking for the each filter context due date. How much? Uh, that the same amount I want to place it. So that's why I use the selected value in this case for the due date. And we change the relationship that so that it will work out. But now we want to consider this filter now. But the, mm -hmm. from this filter, I want to extract the first day, whatever I'm selecting from the slicer. And from that, I will get the difference in the due date through that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we're, we're planning to do. So, what I'm selecting now. So, let's see. I will create a variable here. We'll say date selected. What I'm selecting here. So we have a range. Okay. So in this case, our range is somewhere around 7, 6, 2013 to 31st December. From there, I need the first. I will use my main function. Oh, okay. Okay. So when I'm using the main function, that is the first day, always. Okay. So now I will calculate the days difference. So I have a function, you know that, date diff, right? Mm -hmm. Date diff function. What I will say here in this case, the first I will select my, the range which I am selecting, the date selected, which is coming from my slicer and my due date. And based on the day, number of days. Okay. Now, return. Enter. Okay, now try to put that value. We'll get difference. Let's remove the due date and put the days to due date. 
getting 4 right this order is mm -hmm. a 35 means from the 76 there was order on july somewhere 35 days order d you can see check everything okay you want to see the formula just check it out and let me know any questions here Any part, any doubt, just let me Any questions? I'm okay, sir. Hello? I'm okay, sir. No, I don't have okay. any questions. Okay. Fine. Okay. Now, on this one, your task is to extend bit. Extend bit in the sense, I need... Uh, so, the question would be here in this case is that... How many orders received in the next 30 days? Only that you need to consider. So, this 35, right? Is the due date is 35 orders, 35 days. So, that I don't want to consider. I want to consider the order due within the 30 days. So, these are the orders I can say which are qualified for this. How you will do? If I ask this question, we'll put no, condition rest, please to do where, where you need to put? Okay, tell me how to put it. Oh, okay. In the same, uh, we'll create new measure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will create a new measure. Okay. So let so here let's take uh, uh, order last order due orders due in last thirty days something like that okay okay mm. I'm telling okay order due in last thirty days so we. These are the days already has been calculated, like 4, 4, 35. Correct. Correct. So for this, this order, from the 7, 6, there could be, if the filter got changed, there could be some other orders also. Hmm. So we will just look at in this column also, days to due date are less than 35. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. How we will do it? That's the question. How we will do it, this question? Yes, I think. Okay. With if, mm -hmm. if this to do it, like just, uh, can't we write can, can I can, can I do like this? Calculate. Uh, let's take. Uh, in the expression. In the expression. I can say 
uh, let's create a table of all the order number mm. okay and put a filter on let's take mm -hmm. the days to due date is less than equals to 30. can i do like this is it possible yes like yes 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 take sir. a Take a, take a table of all the orders and put it there. This will work. Hmm. Are you sure this will work? Sir, you can uh, create one. It's a kind of filter where you're creating a values table. In hmm. that values table, you can give no, this expression. Not, not filter. This is expression. This is expression which will create a table of all the order, all the unique order. Mm. And on that, I'm putting a filter for days to due days, whichever the days to due days is there, less than or equals to 30. And get me that order only. That's what I'm planning to see. If this order is order is less than or equals to 30, this qualified for this mm. order. This order is not less than 30, this will not qualify. That's what I'm planning to do. The logic is correct, but I'm question is will this work if I put a enter? So remember, these are all interview questions. Okay, they will give you a syntax, you will that debug it. Or will they ask you that if I commit this formula, this will work or not work? You need to answer. They say some from your sense, tell me if this will work or this will throw an error. It should work, sir, because in calculate. This is the expression and this is the yeah filter, filter. condition. Okay. And what about you, Rajini? This will work or not work? Simple. I'm saying asking very frankly. I'm not and I didn't put enter yet. If I put yeah. enter, it will work or not work? Yes, sir. It should work. Yes, it should. Okay. Um, even uh, Surbi also saying that. What about you guys, other Asalaja uh, Bali? What do you think? This will work or not work or you don't know or you can't predict i think it works you don't think it will work okay what why you are thinking that sense really it will uh, not work. i think we can go with if if condition or uh, i i'm not sure with the condition applied with the measure value here mm -hmm. uh, because in calculate we have used uh, uh, measure values directly we have not used uh, any conditions with the measure okay so I'm let me sure. i think i think you have a little close to the point this will throw an error actually okay. because you can throw an error because of the measure we can't put mm -hmm. directly as a filter in this case that i already explained in the scenario so in the inside the calculate, I can't put directly in like this. I can put a measure as a filter directly. I can put it to filter. Okay. For this, what do I need to do? Filter. Yes. We need to use the filter function. Absolutely. Okay. To use the filter okay. function. Now inside that, I will create a table. This, this will work now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I need to create a filter function inside that I need to create a table and based under that I can put a measure with a filter. Absolutely. But now the problem is different. Now this formula got resolved, but when you drag this, this is the formula order last two last 30 days, you'll get all blanks. Mm -hmm. There's no data at all. This is another debugging to you need to do. Why this not working? <laughs> there is no data. Logic is correct. Okay. Absolutely logic is correct. What you are thinking that okay, we took a table mm -hmm. filter. This is this table only, right? It will get all the order numbers where the number of days to due days is less than equal to three. So it will create some order date and it will give you this is absolutely fine okay there is no issue at all on this part actually okay oh sir and when... oh sorry, sorry. Sir. 
so we are doing calculating uh, yeah calculating only okay what you are calculating right okay sorry yes yes right okay so let's take calculate what let's say how much amount you are getting right total mm -hmm. receivables let's take okay and putting the filter now sales still also we will not be able to get the data here how much mm -hmm. amount i am receiving on the last 30 days those many amount also i will not get it here right so whatever we are calculating here how many order or i can say the total receivable in last 30 days something whatever uh, amount will be there i can put the due date also let me change this total receivables in last in last 30 days okay so this is the formula but we are not getting any data actually but as for my knowledge the logic is correct there is no point of logic is wrong but you are not getting the data it should you should get the data for this one because um. these are the due which are under 30 days only for others is, you should not get the data mm -hmm. but is there something related to modeling mm -hmm. go ahead very uh, close like, uh, because this is due date and it's mm -hmm. not the relationship with the sales table. Absolutely. 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 Because this formula, the days to due date, you go to the days to due date. Where is that? My um, days to due date. Days to due date. Okay. When I'm calculating the days to due date, it is taking a relationship of due date and date and it is getting calculated whereas when i am talking about the total receivables in the last 30 days do i have any filter because this is derived right now through the normal order date only and for the order there is no due that's why you are getting the data is wrong we are not getting any data we are it is saying that there is no order placed on this but we are calculating how many amount I should receive on this day. But that formula itself is not there. Making sense? Mm. Okay. Okay. Now, where you will define the relationship? Now, this table, whatever you are creating, this is little bit advanced I am doing on the tax. So, this table this table needs to be now the understand this table whatever the filter is giving me on that one i need to define the relationship now try and explain <coughs> as of now when you are defining the relationship you are defining the relationship for a particular column or a particular mm -hmm. expression so you are using the calculate calculate then expression and you are changing the user relationship in this case but now the logic which should change in the sense here we want to change the relationship of this particular table itself part of the output we are getting here and calculate which a function always change the filter context for an expression not for a table it is not possible to change the filter context or removing filter anything if you are doing it as of now if you see your Every calculation, when I am using the remove filters, all, keep filters, anything, I am using an expression there in the calculator. And that expression, we are changing it. Okay. We never did a change to a table. Okay. In this case, the requirement is, whatever the table the filter is giving me, for that I want to change the, the relationship or change the filter context, something like that. So, for that, we have another DAX function which I want to use it in this case. So that function is called calculate table. Same as a calculate, but the calculate table will change the filter context of a table. Okay. And you will take the first parameter as a table, third second parameter is a filter. And this one is a table it is giving me. Let me not like this. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so this part will remove here. Okay, now this is filtered. This is giving me a table, and on this one, I can use my use tracing in this case. This is little bit complex. Go through the formula one more time on your practice, you will be able to understand. Okay, so this is the one we need to change it now. If you've done it, hopefully, it should get yes. you are getting right. The data for the only for the 30 days only, not for this, right? Mm -hmm. Change it to dollar. Okay, I'm putting this in a in a chart, all the formulas, so that you can you can take it from the chart, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, this is the formula I'm pinging you, and the other one also, which is the days to do it. You can just have a look in your practice. <laughs> I know this is the record also. So. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did the recording. But right now, if you want to practice immediately, you can do that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So here the point is this table relationship I want to change it. This is a filter is giving me output of a table, right? Filter mm -hmm. never give a output of scalar value. It is always give a table. Mm -hmm. This table relationship I want to change it. So that's why I use the calculator. And note that the first parameter is table and the next is the filter. So the difference between the calculate and calculate table is Calculate will change the filter context of an expression. Whereas the calculate table is same, but it will change the filter context of a table, not an expression. That's the difference between your calculate and calculate table. Got it? Okay. okay. I don't want to make it more complex. So this is the it for this uh, formula. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's stop it here and just do this formula and from tomorrow we'll start building the uh, the dashboards okay like visualization all these things and, and time intelligence functions are also done right sir in yesterday time yeah few few things are there that we'll discuss okay okay uh, that's okay. up to your choice guys see i don't want to mess it because you can take your own time to practice because if I more I if I put it more on you because there mm -hmm. are some more complex intelligence time intelligence functions are there. If you want, I will discuss. If you want, I'll skip it for now. Once you guys are ready with everything, then I can discuss that also within yes, course of another. Yes, sir. we can skip for now. Maybe yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Sir. Uh, uh, for SQL project, uh, I mean, do we have to? I mean, today is the last day, yeah. right? And or yeah. uh, in GitHub, how how should I upload it? I, I mean, I can't see. Any yeah, something. I uh, something I uh, from the Wali. I I got that that the CSV he was not able to upload it. I didn't look into that actually. So did you guys upload the CSV file? Apart from Bali, anybody yes, tried it? From, from yes. text to Excel, we converted it and we did it. I did directly it did it CSV. So can we directly? It it, yeah. It worked. The table yeah. got worked, right? Yes, with the okay. DX. Okay. Uh, then what is the problem, uh, Bali? You are facing. Well, uh, Bali, exporting Bali that. Oh, he'll select. Okay. Uh, Bali right. left. Then what is the question? Then you need to answer the question, Rajni. Nothing else. Then I, I have I given some questions, right? Yes, I answered, sir. Uh, I, I mean, like not all. Hmm. Out of out of ten, I did it eight, sir. Okay, fine. Then just put it that answer in a notepad with all hmm. the suppose question answer question hmm. answer hmm. and okay. put exp and upload into the GitHub with your name like Rajni answer something okay. like that. I'll, I'll look into okay. that after that. 
Okay, sir. Yes. And okay. and whoever um, it just did it, just inform me in the WhatsApp that I uploaded my file. So that I will I will check it out. Okay, sir. In real time, also do we get all these like in this type of analytical questions, sir? Yes. <laughs> yes, we will get it. Why you will not get it? Because you are an analyst, right? <laughs> Yes, they're applying for a job for an analyst, right? And yes, sir. see, she could be. These are the questions which I'm discussing. It is more of a power BI, like four to five years of experience. Okay, and you should target that because maybe in a two three years, there is no job in the market. Very frank, I'm saying. There is no job at all. In two, three years, maybe they will ask some simple, simple questions only. But when you are putting an experience of a four to five years in a Power BI or three plus, four, four plus something like that, then these are the questions will come. Okay. And I'm, um, are you giving any Power BI project also, sir, or only SQL? Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. I'll give a Power BI project as well. So uh, that I, mean, I don't know. Uh -huh. You can go let ahead. Me so. mm -hmm. Let me stop it. Let me stop it.